What's up, everybody? Glad you're here. Welcome back. Uh, you know I had to react to this. The Rings of Power. Uh, the Lord of the Rings series is coming on uh, Amazon Prime. Um, I believe it starts the uh, first part of September 3rd, I think. Uh, so we're going to check it out. Uh, now I got to tell you, I'm a, I'm a Tolkien fan. I'm not a diehard Tolkien fan. Like, I don't know everything. I've read The Hobbit, read The Lord of the Rings, seen all the movies. I read the book several times, actually. Um, and as a fantasy fan, you know, it's just he's the godfather of everything that we know about fantasy today. Elves, orcs, trolls, like he invented all that stuff. Um, dwarves. Uh, so everything we know about that, all of D&D and, and all of the fantasy stuff that you know today, um, mostly came from what he created back in the early 20th century. So I'm a fan of it. I always have been. Love reading the books. Love the characters. Uh, I think Samwise Gamgee is probably one of the greatest characters ever written, created. Um, but that's a story for another time. So this new series is coming out. A lot of conflict about it. I know a lot of people are, are hating it. Um, a lot of people are looking forward. Well, not a lot, but some people are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um I know that they've taken liberties with the uh, J.R.R. Tolkien uh, estates license, from what I've heard. Um, I know they've taken a lot of license with what he's created. I think I never I never got around to reading like the Forgotten Tales or, or the Cimmerillion. Cimmerillion. I, I started way deep and just way deeper that I really wanted to go at that point. Um, so I don't know all that intricate back lore about, you know, how the wizards came to be, the history, the, you know, the second age, the first age of man and all that. I don't know that. Um, so I'm going into this with an open mind. Have they taken liberties with it? Sure. But at the same time, I don't know the story. And I know that I have had books that I loved turned into movies that have worked. Uh, books that I've loved a bit turned into movies that didn't work. Um, I think when you adapt something as wide a scope as the Lord of the Rings trilogy or, or well, the, the, that in the Middle Earth saga, um, things have to be sacrificed. And apparently, like a lot of this story is basically condensing 3,000 years into maybe a handful or something like that. I don't know. Here's what I'm looking for. I want a good story. That's it. Um, just tell me a good story. Because if I can go into this and be like, okay, I didn't know anything about that. And they told a good story and I enjoyed it. I think I'll get my money's worth out of it. Um, I kind of got that a little bit with the, um, uh, the other series that they did. Uh, Jordan's uh, Wheel of Time. Never read that series. Um, my brothers did. And so they would talk about it and I'd hear it, But I didn't know a lot about it. So I went into it with a clean slate, unbiased. And it was all right. I, I don't think it was fantastic. I think it's been re-upped for two or three seasons. So it's coming back. And, and I'm and I'm hoping it'll be good. Um, I talked to... After, after I watched it, I talked to my brother. And he was like, this is what they got wrong. This is what they got right. And I was just like, okay. So they changed a lot of stuff around. And I wouldn't have recognized it, I don't think, if I had read the books. Um, and I think sometimes there's just some things that you write that can't go to screen as easily. You know, if you're writing the 3,000-year saga, transferring that to screen is difficult. And sacrifices have to be make, uh, be made. So I think that... It's, it's really good, I think, in watching a lot of the Marvel Universe movies. Um, if, if you're, if I grew up on Marvel Comics, so I have that lore in my head, and watching the movies, not a lot of it meshes together, you know? Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff is similar. Uh, Tony, Har uh, Tony Stark, you know, had his heart damaged, was in a cave, built an iron suit. Pretty much the same thing that happened in the books. Um, I think in the books that actually happened in Vietnam, uh, or near Vietnam, Peter Parker gets bit by a spider. Of course, you know, Captain America takes the serum. And then after that, things change. Um, D 
the Avengers lineup that that's in the move in the movies is not the Avengers lineup ever in the books, uh, in the in the comic books. So there's changes, but you have to look at it like okay, that's a different dimension. That's the six one six. It's not the eight one eight or eight two eight or the ten thirty six five or whatever it is. The the Marvel comic books are their own universe, and the MCU is a, its own universe. I think you need to do that with the Lord of the Rings. I think you'll enjoy it more. If you can say those books are Middle Earth Prime and this is Middle Earth 2120, right? Um, 2022. And just look at it as a different universe. Similar characters, similar circumstances. Things have just changed a little bit. I think if you can look at it that way, I think you can find a way to enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have a basis for that because I don't have a lot to, to really stand on. I know that they've changed Galadriel, um, made her more of a warrior, but, but that doesn't affect me. If she was a warrior a thousand years before we saw her in the Lord of the Rings saga, so be it. Okay. So try and go at it like, like that way with an open mind and don't get bogged down in J.R.R. Tolkien, you know, J.R.R. Tolkien is rolling around in his grave or the estate is corrupt and the SJW warriors are out and all that. I'm sure I'm sure we'll see plenty of that. I know there was plenty of it in the in the Wheel of Time. Um, you know, right now, that's a sacrifice you have to make for it. Um, on the other hand, you know, we could not be getting anything at all. And not seeing another orc or not seeing another elf or another dwarf or any part of Middle Earth for years. And we're getting this. So I think we should be at least a little bit thankful for it. Go into it. Just, all right, put it all aside. Take it as it comes and just take it as in the 2022 universe, this is what happened on Mid on Middle, in Middle Earth. That's the way I'm looking at it. So take it, leave it, you know, let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. So please drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking of it. Um, are you looking forward to it? You really don't care. Um, what do you think of like looking at it that way? I want to hear from you. So please let me know. In the meantime, we're going to take a look, look at the new trailer that just dropped and uh, get some more uh, insight into what we're getting ready to watch in a couple weeks when it actually uh, hits Amazon Prime. So without any further ado, here's Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power official trailer. My brother gave his life hunting the enemy. His task is now mine. Speak your truth. Oh, that's gorgeous. Stand with me. Ours was no chance meeting. Not fate. Nor death. Oh no, that's a beard. See, dwarves know how to rock beards. That's a beard right there. <laughs> to me, ours was the work of something greater. Each of us. Every one. I'll tell you right now, the sets in this look amazing. Like, I know that I've heard, like, they put a billion dollars into this or something. You can see it. Like, it looks stunning. Looks really, really, really good. Some of that might have to end up as wallpaper on my computer. Must decide who we shall be. I am not the hero you seek. Whatever it was you did, be free of it. One day this will be. Okay. This right here is the one issue I have. Um. I don't know her name. I don't know her character's name. She's the queen of the dwarves. And the fact that she doesn't have a beard, honestly, I've tried to get over it. It's just irritating me to no end. Like, 
ever since I read the books when I was a kid, I've always wanted to see a female dwarf with a beard and rock a beard as great as that guy is rocking it. Right? I'm assuming that's Durin. Um, I just wanted to see female dwarves with beards. That would have been awesome. And they didn't do it, and and I hate that. It just it drives me bonkers. I think it would have been a great, just aesthetic feel for um, for that world. And that is not there after growing up, knowing about it, and and even that lore transitions over into like um, if you ever played D and D or Forgotten Realms or any of that stuff, that stuff transferred over. And women, female dwarves have have beards too. Um, I just think it, it just kind of it doesn't take me out of it, but it's just kind of like yeah, this is definitely an alternate universe kind of thing. So these these women dwarves don't have beards, and that's a shame. I hate that. Be your kingdom. Raise your sail and then let go. Choose not the path of. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's got to be like one of the dwarven mines. That is just awesome looking. I love that. Fear. But that of faith. Fear. One thing we can do better than any creature in all Middle Earth. We stay true to each other with our hearts even bigger in our feet. We can survive. Ah, uh, the Misty Mountains. <laughs> Did they film this in New Zealand? I'm pretty sure they filmed this in New Zealand. That's a great shot. It's you and I. Commander! Wait! No! We keep moving! Why do you keep fighting? There is a tempest in me! You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. What am I to be? Ah, so there you are. I I think it looks good. I'm excited for it. I actually am. I just uh, I love going into that world. The, you know the six movies that we've gotten. I know the Hobbit was um, too long. I think that should have been a duology at best instead of turning it into a trilogy. But being in that world is fantastic. Whether you're in the mines or, or you know, in Lake Town or even in, in the Shire. Uh, or if you're, you know, in Moira or, or just going across the mountains or wherever it is. Every time you're in that world, it just looks amazing. It just feels amazing. You know, it has a really, if nothing else, New Zealand just has a great way of just turning Middle Earth into reality. So I love seeing that. And I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and uh, and checking that out. I was looking at some of these comments earlier, you know. Um, a lot of people are kind of ragging on um, this series as we talked about. Some of these comments in here are just hilarious. If you get a chance to go look at them. Um, when Galadriel pulled out her lightsaber and said Wakanda forever since shivers up my spine. Col Tolkien couldn't have written it any better. <laughs> uh, I can't believe Eminem was sore on the whole time. Good foreshadowing on Tolkien's part. Uh, Hearing Galadriel say a volunteer, by volunteer is tribute so Frodo could not, would not have to be in the game really shows her true spirit <laughs> moving. <laughs> Jessica Tolkien really knew how to write a book. 
These people are just brutal, man. Melkor and Sauron entering the Middle Earth and saying Hakuna Matata to Galadriel is such a delightful moment. All three going for an adventure trip is just awesome. Can't wait to see. <laughs> These people are just, they're brutal, man, but so funny. Some of those comments are hilarious. So if you get a chance, go over there and just scroll through the comments. because They're, they're cracking me up. But tell me what you think. Um... Leave me a comment below. Are you looking forward to this? Um, are you not? I really want to know. Uh, it's, it's. I'm really interested to see how this plays out. I'm really interested to see how, at the end of this season, um, how people look back at it and and react to it. And you know, can they do it from an unbiased eye? Can they do it from a from a separate viewpoint? And judge it for what it is and not what in their mind it should be i guess i don't know it's gonna be interesting and in, in the meantime please check out some of these other trailers uh that i have uh check out my channel like subscribe share it with your friends or a complete stranger and uh i hope i see you next time y'all have a good one love you